Welcome back, Texas Flycaster Nation. We are at the Fly Bar. It is finally cool enough to uh, go back outside after a scaldingly hot summer in Texas, record setting summer. And fall was ushered in last night by a cool front. Like my mom used to say, we always get a cool front before your birthday, my birthday, which is the end of October. So we got it. A few months ago, though, I was contacted and, and sent a few shirts by a a company up north called Wind Rider, and it's, it seems like a small, like mom and pop operation or father and son, I don't know. But anyway, good operation. They contacted me, they like the videos I do, and so they sent me a few shirts. Well, the shirts they sent me back in the summer were they're a little bit heavy. These guys are up north, so they're a little bit heavy, a little bit like pike weight, you know, or bass weight up north. And so I've been holding on to these because I think they're more fit for weight wise for fall in the cooler, cooler times in the fall and then the cool times in spring in Texas from the Texas Gulf Coast all the way up to where we are up here. Now the first shirt I'm going to show you is called the Helios. And by the way, I like these shirts that they sent me so much. I went back and bought a pair of shorts just to check them out. And you're just going to dig these shorts. So hang in there to the very end because the shorts are unbelievable. So here is this shirt. Of course, that is very practical for us in Texas. That color is sky color, you know. Um, has a hood. Has the, the built-in gator on it. So let me just show you what that looks like on. Oh. I'm not going to show you my, my uh, bullet holes and uh, knife scars, so you just have to wait. All right, guys, so here's what it looks like on. This is a large, so I thought based on their sizing charts, I'm really, I'm 5'11", 168 about, I hope. <laughs> and so based on the arm length and just this, the, this chest size, that is a great fit for me. That is a sport fit. And uh, I really like the way it fits. Here's the kicker though. But I, still, got the, still got the tags on here. Here's the kicker. I like this format right here where you can cover from the downside and the upside like this. And you have the easy option to take off the gator fart and drop that down, drop the hood off if you need to, but you're covered otherwise. So think about coverage. We talk a lot about that here in Texas because of the sun is so intense. We're, <laughs> we're a lot closer to the sun. So that's this shirt, which is the Helios. Now let's take a look. Oh, let me go all the way around. <laughs> Nicely done. Well made, great scenes, very good. Very good price point. Go to windrider.com and check these out. Next. So the next shirt is the Atoll. And the Atoll is a bigger shirt, just a little bit bigger all the way around. Um, this color is great for winter time in Texas because of the, the black skies we get, we don't have right now. The sun has come out, folks. But it's really great for those overcast days. I love grays, I love blacks, very rare in shirts and this, to me for the color alone is worth the price of admission but check this out cool logo on the back right but how about that zip pocket right there you got one more pocket to put something in back there in the back check it out check it out one more time a zip pocket right there pretty handy i know because i put a fly box in there you only need one box you know when you're walking and waiting on texas gulf coast done deal. You can put whatever you want in there. You can put a flask if you want. Anyway, like this shirt too. Again, it has that double up here. Check this out right here, going up this way. You can do just that if you want. But if you really want coverage, people, pretty dang good. This hood reaches out far enough. Some of them are cut small and they stay back too far. This one goes far enough up that it covers you up. Plenty of articulation for fly fishermen. You got plenty of length in the sleeve, so you can go ahead and use this and stretch in it and be just fine. Again, this is a large, if I'm not mistaken, I'll take a look at it and see and after we're all said and done here. One more shirt. 
No more bullet scars. All right, guys, this is the Helios Mahi. And of course, you know what a Mahi is, right? If you don't, it's a majorly beautiful saltwater deep sea fish. And so for the guys that are going offshore, they don't care what they wear. They're not trying to hide from fish like we fly guys on the inshore do. And also they look good for the chicks when they get back to the dock and get off their million dollar boats. So nicely done. Again, sleeves are long enough. Nice, great, great finish, fit and finish on this. Really, I mean, just really. And this is probably the lightest weight shirt. It's got some air, air right here and down the sides. It doesn't have a pocket on the back, but this is more of a fashion statement to me. And I like bright colors, so you can bet you'll see me wearing this sometime. Not on the water. <laughs> but I'll wear it at the beach, no problem. Great shirt. Another one by Wind Rider. Golly, it's just three good shirts right here. Still got the label, so got to get these broken in now. But what comes next is what you've been waiting for. A great pair of shorts. All right, guys, one last product from Wind Rider, and it is the Coup de Gras. It is the Wind Rider shorts. They're called the Santa Bells, and I think they call it, it's like a, it's like a slight on Santa Belt. Remember the Santa Belt slacks of the 1950s and stuff? Yeah, it's got the stretch in it, just like it's coming back into the high end $100 shorts you see by other manufacturers. And uh, it's really handy when you're on the road, you want to eat a lot, you can uh, have a little stretch built in. This is a size medium. I'm a 34 waist and it doesn't stretch at all. So 34 is the medium and that's where it starts. So you can cinch them in or you can let them stretch. Great thing about this, 10 and a half inch inseam. I like my shorts to go down low to keep the sun off my legs as much as possible. It has air ventilation back here in the back. No, they didn't send me these to review, but I like them so much. That's why you're getting this review. This is pretty awesome stuff. So ventilated in the back and also gusseted at the crotch. So you got, you got great articulation right here. You know, plenty of room. And so the backside, I'm just going to go try to get this in order. The, uh, the zippers are covered so they won't catch on fly line or anything like that or any or your seats of your cars or any of that other stuff for having zippers on the back. You know how zippers can scratch leather on your car seats. So that's pretty cool in and of itself. Nice wide belt loops, it'll hold a thick, you know, wide belt. But this is what gets me about these guys. This is what gets me about these shorts. The finish on the inside is as perfect as I've ever seen on a garment, ever. Like. $600 suits are finished this way with sewn in all um, surged edges and just lays down perfectly all the way around. Every seam is perfectly, perfectly done. And the inside is kind of like, <laughs> I wear them inside out almost, they're so great. Don't forget your Santa belt. And then they even, they even calculated in the stretch of the pocket so that, so that it doesn't interfere. And then they went in and they actually put a, a lining around there to keep it from rubbing on you or having any kind of edge to it. So these guys thought these shorts out. I don't know who exactly designed them. They're well made. Like I said, this is a medium, which is 34 for me. And these shorts are awesome. They're, they're a weight that's a little, they're not ultra light. They're a, like a regular weight. I've, I've gotten a little bit turned off by ultralight shorts because they don't wear well over time. If you wear them as much as I do, like every single day for like 200 days in a row, not the same pair, <laughs> but shorts. This is a little heavier. It's gonna wear better. It's a different kind of fabric. It's gonna wear better, um, but it does have a little less of that ultralight breeze blowing through and cooling you off. But who cares? Sometimes you just gotta get wet. Thanks for watching, guys. That's the shorts. And the mosquitoes. <laughs>